In tonight's Medical Watch, bringing a mouse to surgery. Along with a robot and scalpel, it's becoming a new tool of the trade. Local operating rooms are going high-tech and giving people a peek inside a surgeon's work. Twitter is coming to an OR near you. Log on to Twitter and enter Sherman Hospital. Today, a 48-year-old patient undergoing a hysterectomy for anyone to see. He's got four tiny incisions, about a centimeter or less. Instead of open surgery, a robot helps the doctor offer the patient a minimally invasive option, a choice he wants more people to know about. So he's delving into a new world of operation on the web. This is a good way to uh, teach the community and show them what we do because a lot of people don't even know that there's robotic surgery out there. And until now, the chief of OBGYN didn't know how to tweet. I am uh, not into Twittering. Um, I just found out about Twittering. But with the help of a Twitter team along with the surgical team, some tended to the patient while others tended to the computer. All the while, Dr. Raja Chattery manned the Da Vinci robot controls. Whatever my hands and feet do, that's what the robot does. And surgery is like second nature to me, so I'm very comfortable with what I do, so I was not distracted at all. He removed the uterus, ovaries, and cervix, giving play-by-play -play and specific answers. Right now we've got a question here. Um, what is the normal blood loss with the da Vinci surgery as opposed to normal surgery? A lot less. As the surgery went on inside, people were retweeting outside the hospital, including the patient's family, adding to the numbers in the room, conversing and looking at surgery images. The patient thought the idea of tweeting her operation was great, but she had a warning for her doctor. And she said, just concentrate on my surgery. That's what I did. More and more hospitals are attempting to Twitter during surgery. Ask your doctor if family members can log on when you go under the knife. On the Medical Watch, Dina Baer, WGN.